Y'all, I look real crazy right now because we done been, we had a connecting flight to Houston. Then from Houston, we came here. And then we had like a 30 minute ride to get here. So if y'all made it to this point, y'all have already seen the room tour. Y'all, it looks so beautiful here. Everything is so pretty. It is burning up. I'm about to freshen up, get some makeup on. We'll probably do um, lunch in the room and then we're gonna get out a little later meet up with our friends um yeah y'all so this is the beginning part of my birthday trip the birthday vlog couples trip all of the above we got a little bit of everything for this first vlog i hope y'all enjoy this vlog if you do enjoy make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button and yeah y'all stay tuned because we got a lot more to come we have we're leaving Monday. So we have a few days here. We got a lot more to come. Right now, we just want to rest up, freshen up, get ready for tonight. And yeah, so once we get presentable, start doing some things, I'll pick y'all back up. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
Makeup look. I want to keep it real simple. I literally packed the bare minimum when it came to makeup. So I want to keep it real simple on this trip. But we ended up going downstairs to the pools and we went down to the beach. They do recommend that you don't swim in the beach because, um, well, swim at the beach rather because the water, the tide is so high. They said it's not best to swim in that. So we just went down there and took pictures, sat by the water, got, got some drinks and just chilled out. And then like I said, now we're finna get ready to head out to this little party thing that they're having at the resort. Um, I'm hoping we can get a chance to do some activities tomorrow. I'm thinking we can do the ACV and the camel ride. Um, but I have to see, cause we have to get with the lady here so we can get it booked. We did end up getting our reservation booked for dinner tomorrow. Everywhere tonight was booked up. So this is an all-inclusive hotel, but you can make your reservations um, through the app. They give you like a little QR code with your own password. And then that's how you make your reservations for the different restaurants. There is one restaurant on the resort that you have to pay for. And it's like a six course meal type restaurant. And it's 140 per person for the six course meals. So um, I'm not sure if we're gonna get a chance to do that while we're here, but um, I looked at the menu. I didn't really see a lot on there that I liked from it, but it would be a good experience. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm just about to get ready, do a quick little beat, find something cute to put on. I think I'm doing something color first, colorful since it's like um, a Mexican theme party, but I don't know, we'll see. sitting on the balcony just got done ordering our breakfast for this morning which is gonna do breakfast in the room today y'all my hair is looking real crazy I think it's like 6 30 I have to look I think they're an hour behind us so it's 6 30 something right now um we got reservations at one at taboo and then we have reservations at um I think it's like eight or nine at the hibachi restaurant here um it seems to be it seems like it has good reviews we were trying to get there last night but it was booked up so we just booked it for today um i think tomorrow is going to be like our activities day where we do like the camel ride and the atv um i kind of wanted to do it today but i don't think we'll have time to do that today and go to taboo and go to the hibachi restaurant that's on our resort but yeah y'all so far i've been having fun yesterday like i said it was just a chill vibe we were so tired like they all took naps before we did our little stuff yesterday and i didn't get a nap so y'all when i crashed last night i was out like 
I was at hard. It's so pretty, so peaceful, y'all, out here early in the morning, because not too many are up this early. It's a few down there. Um, you might can see on the beach part, or well, by the swim up pool right here. And then if you go down, that's the beach area. They do say don't swim over there because y'all, those waves are so serious. We went down there yesterday. We got not too close, but they don't recommend you even have to sign like a waiver for saying that you're not gonna swim in the beach area if you do swim in it. And if you do swim in that area, then you're responsible basically for like whatever happens. Like they're not responsible. So you, lit you literally have to sign like a waiver liability as far as the beach area. It's not like a turn up resort. It's more like a chill vibe. Um, if you're interested in the chill vibes, then this will be the resort for you. Um, the aesthetics are definitely there. The food has been good so far. Um, the service has been great. Um, yeah, everything has been fine so far. Like I said, it's just not the turn up vibe. Um, would I come back for the aesthetics? Definitely. But if you're looking for like a party vibe, it's definitely like definitely not that. It's more so relaxed and chill. Um, like I said, they did have that little party last night, but it was more like a, um, I guess I would say like a upscale party vibe, if you want to call it that. But it still was a good time. The entertainment was great. They had music. They had dancers. Um, they had um, all of the guests were out. They had this, the table set out in front of the resort or whatever. Um, but it was still like in the area in the front. It wasn't like outside, like on the road. You were still in the area, like when you first walk in. But it was nice, y'all. So, like I said, I'm just sitting out here waiting. We may go back to the pool again until we get ready to go at one. I wish I could say there's more footage, but day three was a complete disaster. Y'all, it was horrible. So the last thing I think I, I think I left off on was day two. I was talking about the activities day. I wish we would have went ahead and did day two as our activities, but as a group, we decided to do day three as the activities. And like I said, day three 
was a disaster. We did not even get a chance to do any of our activities. We couldn't get our money back, but I'm gonna tell y'all about that. So day three that morning, y'all, I woke up feeling horrible, like awful. Like I was so sick, could not get out of bed. Um, just everything, I'll spare the details on exactly what was going on, but I was extremely, extremely sick. Like, to the point where I was ready to say, hey, let's go back home on day three, but that wouldn't have been an option because like I said, I couldn't even get out of the bed. Um, once I did start, to, well, the first thing somebody asked me was like, did you drink the water? I'm like, no, I did not drink the water down there. I already knew that um, they did give us bottles of water. So it wasn't the water. I do think it was the food. Like the symptoms that I had was like borderline um, symptoms of food poisoning. So yeah, so that should tell you everything you need to know as far as what was going on why I said day three was a total disaster. Um, I hate that we didn't get a chance to do anything on day three. I got up that morning. I had been up since like maybe three or four o'clock and I wasn't feeling well. I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna lay back down. So I got up and um, we went by the pool for a little bit, sat down there for maybe, it wasn't even 30 minutes, I believe. We sat down there for maybe like 30 minutes and then I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta go back to the room. I'm not feeling good. I think on top of the heat and the different smells of the foods and just everything else, I was just like, I gotta go back up to the room. So I said to my friend and I let her know, I was like, well, hey, you know, I'm not feeling well, but I'm gonna lay back down because y'all, our excursion was supposed to leave at, um, I think it was at three. They were coming to get us because it was like an hour and they said it was an hour, an hour ride there from the resort in an hour back. But I'll tell y'all about that a little later, which I'm so glad that we did not go. Um, so I was like, I'm just gonna lay down for a little bit and try to make myself feel better because I'm like, oh my God, we done wasted all of this money on activities. They let us know that because we booked the day before, like regardless if anything happened, y'all not getting this money back. And we had paid <clears throat> a good little amount for our um, activity, so. Yeah, I was trying to do everything I can to make sure I made it to the activity. But that morning, y'all, my husband's like, uh-uh, like, you might as well just go and call this off now. Like, you're not going to be able to make it. But I had, I had it in my mind that I was going to still make it. I was taking everything. I was taking everything that I had in my purse that I brought with me. I was taking, trying to make myself feel better. Um, drinking ginger ale and stuff like that. And I still did not feel better. Ended up meeting our friends down there. I, I think so. We came back up. I kind of laid down for maybe like an hour or so. I thought I felt better. I was like, okay, I'm good to go. We went back down, met our friends down there. Um, it had about maybe like an hour or so before we leave, maybe two hours or something like that. But when we met them down there, I ended up, we sat on the beach for a little bit and I still just started back feeling bad again. So at that point I knew it was pretty much over. Um, but I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm just gonna go back, lay down. And then we had reservations that night as well. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna go to the reservations. Did not make it to the reservations, y'all. I didn't even make it to that. So day three was a total flop. It was a day, <clears throat> a basically miserable day, on and off sleep in the resort or in the hotel room or the resort room the entire time. Just laying down. So that second time I went back to the room, I went to sleep. I did not wake up till like maybe eight or nine o'clock that night, y'all. So our whole day three was wasted. Like, and so my friends, they even though um we told them they could go ahead and go, they still decided not to go on the boat either. And I felt bad, but that was their decision. They decided not to go. I hate they didn't go, but they decided just not to go since we weren't going. Um, but they did go ahead and go to the reservations and she said another couple was there and they were, they actually, um, had paid to do that same activity as well. 
and they said it took much longer than an hour to get there because they had to keep stopping at different resorts to pick up people and then on the way back they had to do the same thing to drop off people so it was like an hour like way over an hour getting there and they also said that once they did get on the boat the boat was so rocky they said it was extremely rocky Y'all, I am so glad that I did not push myself to go. That would have been so crazy. I would have been miserable, like literally miserable. I would have made it. But anyways, and so she also said that they did get a chance. Because it's well seasoned. Um, they did tell us that when we came to the resort that it's well seasoned. So they did get a chance to see, I think, a couple of whales. I think that's what my friend said. But um, yeah, so one of the little videos y'all saw, if y'all haven't seen it yet, I did like a recap on tiktok y'all um i feel like my recap on tiktok was better because you know tiktok is just like short form, short form videos so i feel like i have enough footage for that but as far as my youtube video i didn't have enough footage because we missed a whole day and then the next day um <clears throat> our plans was to get up because i felt a little better that night um, I didn't eat that entire day. There is no way I could have. I started feeling better. And so the next day, I said, we said we was going to get up and just kind of go by the pool. But we didn't do that because I said, the next day, I started feeling a little, um, some of the same symptoms the next day. So day three and a little bit of time we had on day four before it was time to go, which it wouldn't have been that much time because the shuttle came and got us like around nine something. And our flight was like, um, I think it was like at 12 something, something like that. Anyways, we had a good little minute to sit at the airport once we got there. But um, yeah, y'all, that's pretty much how day three went. It was a flop. Um, but the footage I did have, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna use this footage. Um, what I got, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna talk about it. Somebody asked me for the details. Um, on tiktok so i will go ahead and give y'all those details for y'all day three was like it was horrible like i can't even begin to explain how mad i was i'm like oh my god we done wasted our money and whole day three was just gone the whole day just slipped it away literally slipped it away <clears throat> but it is what it is um i feel like everything happened for a reason so yeah, we still had fun those two days. Um, in the back of my mind, I still wish day two was our activity day. Was our activities day, but it is what it is. So y'all, <clears throat> the hotel we stayed at was the Marquise Los Cabos, and we booked it through a travel agent. So our total cost total cost was two thousand two hundred and forty dollars for the resort had the um, we had the dream suite oceanfront king view price of our flight it was like i want to say it was like anywhere between 14 to 15 something yeah so the price of our flight was 1534 and we flew southwest that was my first time flying Southwest. Um, mm, my thoughts on that, I wasn't a huge fan. I prefer to just go ahead and pick my seat, but at the time, I think Southwest was the cheaper flight. It was cheaper than Delta. And plus we flew out of Birmingham. So we went from Birmingham to Houston and then from Houston to Cabo. So in between, we might have like a, um, I think it was like a two and a half hour layover each time. So it took us a little minute to get there. Um, It really wasn't that bad, but it did take us a little bit to get there. I wish we had a direct flight. Um, It's not too many direct flights coming out of Birmingham, but um, yeah, <clears throat> it, it did take us a little minute to get there because of the layover. Um, The layovers were kind of long, but other than that, that's, um, oh yeah, the activity. So with the activities we ended up booking at the resort, I um, saw something online and I wanted to book, it was a yacht. 
that I wanted to book and it came with the um the shelf and the alcohol was all included but um you had to pay half before you come and then the remaining <clears throat> once you get there so that would have ended up having us pay 900 um before arriving and I wasn't comfortable with paying 900 um before we got there I would have preferred to just pay once we got um to our actual location. I don't know, just paying, going ahead and paying that half up front just kind of made me a little bit uncomfortable because I was like, what if it's a scam? But I don't know, because I didn't see many reviews on that particular yacht services, but I knew there were plenty around and I knew that we could book at the hotel. So that's why we decided to just book it. I mean, say at the resort, we just booked it with the activities person at the resort. And I think we ended up paying like, I want to say, say it was like two something a piece so it might have been 400 something per couple that we lost out on but it is what it is <laughs> they did let us know that um by us booking it so close like the day before if anything happened that we weren't getting that money back honestly we didn't even try to get it back we probably could have asked like I didn't feel well to even think about asking. And my friend was just like, no, nah, they're not giving it back. She didn't try to ask. Um, we probably should have, but yeah, we didn't. So that's the details on that part. Um, like I said, it was a um like a sunset dinner cruise or I don't even think it was a dinner cruise. I know it was a sunset cruise or whatever, and you could see the whales. They had a dance floor, they had an open bar. I think they served food. I can't remember if they did or not. I think um, I think she did say they served food. I'm not sure. Um, what else? Okay, so our transportation. Our transportation was set up by our travel agent. And we did it through Nexus Tours. Um, what I will say about Nexus Tours. Um, for as much as we paid for the resort the package the all-inclusive package or whatever i was not satisfied with the way they did their transportation on our way there y'all like literally they could have used a bigger van to get us in i felt like well no on the way coming back like on the way to the airport when we were leaving i feel like they crowded us all in on our way into the resort it was fine. It was plenty of space. Now, the driver was driving kind of crazy, but we don't need to talk about that. Y'all, he almost hit, like, two cars in the back. Like, slow down. Please, sir. Slow down. Um, but our driver coming home to the airport, he was great. Um, it's just, we were packed in there like sardines. It was a mess. And on the way going, I wanted to upgrade so we can get like the private um, shuttle. And so it'll just be the four of us on there. But the guy was like, oh no, I don't think you should waste your money. Like they're right around the corner. It's right there's gonna be plenty of space. I'm like, okay. So me thinking it's gonna be plenty of space on our way back to the hotel and coming home. I'm like, well, no, I'm not gonna ask for upgrade um, on the way back since we were fine coming. Uh, that is when I should have asked for the upgrade for the private for the private shuttle because, like I said, we were so packed, y'all. Those bags were up to the ceiling in the back. It was, it was a mess. Um, it was like it just was not enough space. It just wasn't enough space. Um, I really feel like they could have used a bigger sprinter to get us um there, but I feel like they were cutting corners and yeah they definitely cut corners with nexus tours um my friend said they when they went to jamaica they used a different service that was much better so we said um we said we was gonna let the travel agent know like if we book anything else again like don't put us on nexus tours to for the back and forth for the shuttle like mm -mm. and then they told us that we could call them or we could reach out to our representative and they would come get us. Like, we thought we could use them to go to Taboo because Taboo was off the resort. Once I called them, they said, no, we're not licensed to do this. So I'm like, y'all, like, what is going on? Why y'all told me that y'all could do that? 
So we ended up having to call a Uber, y'all. Not call a Uber, but you know what I'm talking about. We had to book a Uber. Like, it was a mess. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it was it was a mess trying to get that trying to get an Uber on the way back. On the way there, it was fine, but trying to get an Uber on the way back, it was just such a hassle, and they didn't want to let them in. Like, y'all, we ended up having to walk out on the street to get to him. It was a mess. After that, um, that was kind of like towards the end of day two, and then like I said, the next day, day three, I woke up sick, but. Overall, y'all, I still enjoyed my time there. I would definitely go back again. Like I said, the, um, the Marquis Los Cobos is a very beautiful, very beautiful resort. The food was great, even though the night before it made me sick. I don't know what exactly made me sick, though, because I, I, I'm thinking it's the food. Just from the symptoms, it sounds like the food, y'all. Like, I don't know. The food was good. Like, the drinks were... Some of the drinks were watered down. Now, I will say I didn't drink that much. My whole point of not drinking that much was because I didn't want to get sick and I still ended up getting sick. So, I was doing a lot of like, um, just kind of like doing like mocktails and then I would get a margarita. Man, they were very, those margaritas didn't have a lot of alcohol in them at all. The only thing heavy that I did drink, I had that one shot that y'all saw on my, um, on my reel and my TikTok, y'all. I put it towards the end of this video so y'all can see it. If you don't follow me on TikTok, um, if you don't, y'all follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It's Brianna Aisha. Same thing is here. But um, yeah, so the drinks at the bar, they weren't watered down, but the drinks that they brought up to the room, they were kind of watered down. It's definitely a relaxing resort. If you're looking for the aesthetics and things like that, it's definitely there it is definitely that type of resort but um yeah y'all that's pretty much it that's pretty much my overview i'm so sorry this travel vlog my very first vlog over here but it was short but y'all i have so much more to come so many more vlog lifestyle vlogs um everyday life nursing fashion things like that um so make sure y'all hit that subscribe button the like button and make sure y'all are following me over on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see y'all in the next video.